Hey guys, welcome back to the AJ Analysis channel where today, as you can see, we are talking about Fred because I think most people would agree that in recent weeks we've really been seeing the best of him. Yes, there are occasional poor performances which we are going to talk about, however, I think in the absence of players like Casemiro, who of course has recently faced suspension, uh, with Christian Eriksen being out injured, Sabitza still settling into the club, Fred has been playing a big, big role in the team and I think that he has proven that certainly in the short term, the next 18 months or so, he could be a big part of Eric Ten Hag's squad because I think we've seen glimpses of kind of an important role that he could play. And I think probably the best example of this was the recent uh, game against Barcelona, particularly in the first leg, where he won five tackles, he was man-marking Frankie de Jong, committing fouls, six of them in total in this game. I think that game against Barcelona at the Nou Camp really highlighted what Fred can be good at when he's looking to press high, win the ball back in dangerous areas, man-mark a player like Frankie de Jong. It shows that Fred really has a lot to contribute to this team. However, on the flip side of that, there are games like the first one against Leeds the other week where he doesn't look so good. And we can see here losing possession 27 times. And what this leads to is people calling Fred inconsistent. And it's probably a label that I've used myself in the past because we see these performances like Barcelona where he's very, very good and plays really well. However, we then see these Leeds games where he's quite poor. And it has led to people online saying he either produces a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, there's no in between. And I, I get where people are coming from. However, I don't actually think it's a consistency issue. I think it is simply certain games suit Fred, whereas certain ones just don't. So that is why I think his potential future role is as an impact substitute and a player that comes in for certain games. So what I want to do today is kind of talk about some of his strengths, some of his weaknesses, and how he could be used. So first of all, what I want to talk about with Fred is some of his strengths as a player. And I think we all know that what he is good at is defending. And like we saw in that Barcelona game, his work rate off the ball is phenomenal. He covers so much ground, gets across the pitch and puts a lot of tackles in. And we can see that in his FB ref report. Ranking in the 92nd percentile for tackles, but the 94th percentile for tackles in his defensive third, 73, 73rd percentile in the middle third, and then the 85th percentile in the attacking third. Showing that he covers a lot of ground. He puts tackles in all over the pitch, but particularly ranking uh, high in the attacking third tackles, kind of shows what he can bring to his team in terms of putting tackles in high up the pitch, winning the ball in the final third. I think he's very good at that. Again, that Barcelona game where he's assigned a pressing role where he's got a player who's constantly going to harass, stop them getting on the ball. We've seen him do it to uh, Kevin De Bruyne already this season as well. I think he is very good at that. He also has proven on the ball this season that he has something to contribute. And if we look at that top attacking section, he has a lot of quality. Non-penalty goals, ranking extremely well in the 89th percentile, non-penalty XG, but also shot-creating actions. He's ranking pretty well in all those metrics. So, defensively, yes, he covers a lot of ground, he presses extremely well when he wins tackles high up the pitch, but also on the ball he plays quite well. Now, one of the reasons that Fred has been so good on the ball also this season is because he's been able to play a bit of a higher role up the pitch than what he has in previous seasons with Casemiro protecting him, but also because Manchester United have been quite transitional at times. We know that Fred is very, very good on the counter-attack, and I think his passes in transition are something that are underrated. What we've seen a few times recently is the ball going along to Veghorst, uh, Fred kind of gets on the second ball and then plays a first-time pass either to Rashford or out wide to Anthony or even to Bruno Fernandes. Fred has been doing very well in these situations. He's also pretty decent at kind of carrying the ball forward in these situations as well. He's not typically a progressive carrier. However, in transition, he is capable of beating a man to help the team speed up and play the ball through the pitch. And also what he has, and I think this is something which has really grown in the past 12 months, something we even saw under Ralph Rangnick last season to be fair, is his ability to arrive late in the box. Get in these areas where he has added a good amount of goals to his game. And again, if we go back to that FB ref report, we can see that he is getting into these attacking areas, having an impact in the box. And that is why, in transitioning games, he suits Manchester United so well. Because he gets into these areas where he can score goals, he is able to uh, through ball players like Marcus Rashford, Anthony Veghorst, but also from a defensive point of view, he is happy to press high up the pitch and win the ball back for his side. But also, he's really good at making recovery runs as well. So if Manchester United's um, pressing is beat, and the opposition are able to get through. Fred is a player with the, um, what's the word for it? The athleticism, if you like, to get back in position, get back goal side and put the tackle in. This is why Fred was so good in games against Barcelona, because Manchester United have less possession, so it's more transitional based, and that really, really suits him. So before we continue with the video, I want to talk to you guys about where I got this shirt from, and you probably guessed it, jerseyfifa.com. They have kindly sponsored today's video, and also sent me a load of free shirts for me to check out myself, and I can now really vouch for the quality of these products. They have loads of shirts to offer on the website, so if you are interested, 
head to the link in the description down below and check out Jersey FIFA for yourself. So having looked at all those positives, you might think Fred should start every game surely, because he's defending well, he's winning a lot of tackles in good areas, he's very good at pressing high up the pitch, his recovery runs are good to cover the defence and win the ball back, and then in position, in possession sorry, he's good with through balls in behind the defence in quick transitions, he can carry the ball forward, quick interchanging passing with players like Veghorst, plus he adds goals to a team with late arrivals in the box. Surely he should play every game. However, that's not the case in my opinion, and one of the reasons for this is because there are defensive sides of his game which get exposed in certain types of football matches. So we can see here that he is challenging a lot of dribblers, right? However, he isn't actually very good at challenging dribblers, so he wins a lot of these challenges, but only because he attempts so many. The percentage of dribblers tackled, the 4th percentile, just 29%. So when he's attempting to tackle a player basically that is dribbling, he only ranks in the 29th percentile. I also don't think that his positioning is that good in defensive situations. When Manchester United are in a more set defence, his positioning is not great, he doesn't read the game particularly well. So that is a problem. I also think he struggles in possession in certain games as well, particularly in his own half of the pitch. We've seen already that in the attacking half, very very good, very exciting getting forward. However, in his own half, I don't think he's very good. In terms of press resistance, almost non-existent. One of the most, well, one of the least press resistant players you will see in the Premier League. Very poor at receiving the ball with his back to play. And when he's receiving the ball on here with pressure on his back, he just doesn't have the ability to turn away. And as a result, he loses the ball a lot in these areas. He also just isn't a great passer in sustained periods of possession. He's not a player which can kind of switch to play with passing. He's not going to play passes in between the lines. He's not particularly progressive with his carries. He isn't a great player at getting the ball forward. And again, we can see this in his passing FB ref report where none of those numbers exactly scream out as a player that should be playing for Manchester United. So whilst he does offer those quick passes on the counter-attack, that's all well and good. However, Ten Hag wants this to be a side which controls possession much more, and what we can see here is that Fred probably isn't a midfielder that's going to be able to do that. And that is why I think Fred is a player which suits certain games, but not all of them. In my opinion, Fred is a really poor player when Manchester United have got to try and play their way out from a press. When they are being put under pressure by a team like Leeds, Fred is very poor in these areas. Fred also isn't great in a team where you're trying to break a low block down. So let's say the defence have sat back for the opposition and got a low block, got lots of players in between the goal and the ball, you've got to try and break them down with some quick, neat passing. Fred, again, isn't really the player to do that. He will offer the occasional goal in the box with late arrivals, however, in terms of breaking the team down and really setting the tempo, completing a lot of passes, being a high volume player, again, this isn't Fred's game, and it leads to some really poor performances. However, on the other hand, in a cup final for example, or in games like Barcelona, where Manchester United are playing a bit more transitional football, looking to press high up the pitch, win the ball back, lots of counter-attacks, lots of high action football basically, transitions all over the pitch, very chaotic, it does suit Fred. And this is why, in my opinion, he is a very good squad player for Manchester United to have over the next 18 months or so. Because he isn't right to start every game. He is not right to start every game. I don't think anyone thinks that he is. However, what he has proven in the last couple of months is there are certain situations and scenarios where he has a lot to offer to this team still. And that is why I think for the next 18 months, he could be a very good squad player for Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag. Let's say in three years time when Eric Ten Hag has his settled squad, I think it will look very different. Manchester United will be a team which control almost every game, a bit like Manchester City and Arsenal at the moment. And I'm not sure Fred will suit that. However, that is a process which will take time. And over the next 18 months or so, Manchester United aren't going to reach that height in that time. So Fred, therefore, being a player which can be used as a kind of a role player, being brought into certain situations, I think he could be very, very useful. And that is how I see Ten Hag using him. In those big games where Manchester United need to get a press on, or it's transitional football, Fred looks perfect. However, in games where Manchester United are trying to play through a press and break a team down, probably not. Fortunately, I think Fred is a player which will kind of be happy with that role. If Manchester United are to go deep in all competitions, again next season like they have this year, then it does mean there is still plenty of opportunity for a lot of football for a player like Fred. And I do think he is a player which is happy to play a role from the bench. And that is why I think this season he has proven that he can be an Eric Ten Hag player for at least the next 18 months. Longer term, we will have to wait and see. However, for now, I think he has a big role to play. I think he's a big player in Ten Hag's team. I think he's good in the dressing room as well. So yeah, 
Those are my opinions on Fred, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Personally, I think he has become a very important player, which will have a big role to play. However, you might disagree, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you in the next one.